Hey, Alex RC Freak, coming at you with another video on how to calibrate a Hobby Wing Easy Run ESC. So the speed control, you have to calibrate it out of the box. If you bought it brand spanking new or if you transfer it to another vehicle or if you change radios, get a new receiver, anything like that, you need to recalibrate the speed control. So this is a video showing you how to calibrate properly a Hobby Wing speed control. This is my green 8S X Max. Um, I just put a Hobby Wing Max 6 ESC in it. And I'm going to show you and kind of go over uh, what to do with to calibrate it. So, anyway, what you do is you have your radio transmitter, turn it on. There you go. Make sure all your throttle trim is at zero. All the buttons are at zero. This is your steering. That doesn't really matter. Make sure if you have an adjustable throttle, if you have a nicer, fancier radio, for example, the Spectrum DX6R where you can actually adjust the throttle trim electronically through the radio to more or less. Make sure it's at 0%, you know, so that you don't have any throttle input. You don't want that with electric. So it's really easy to calibrate these. I'm going to go through it. All right, I'll start jump on the truck here. Now, let me just state this as a fact. This LED right here, this LED, let me get you a little better light here. Let's get the light in closer. This LED right here, is gonna flash red one time. When you press and hold the set button, power on the ESC, hold the set button until this flashes red one time, then it'll go green, indicating that you've successfully told the ESC that you're entering it into calibration mode. So, um, just so you guys know. All right, let's get this party started. So basically, I got the radio powered on, okay? Now, it's really easy. You, you don't touch the throttle trigger, so, basically, I'm going to press and hold the set button. I'm going to try to get it so my hand's out of the way. Hold the set button. Okay, let go. So now it's right. Now it's now it's looking to be calibrated. That constant beep. Press set without touching the throttle. Without touching the, the without touching this at neutral. Press set button for the neutral point. Bam! See, it beeped once. Now full throttle. Hold the radio at full throttle. Full throttle, okay. Press the set button one time. The motor will beat twice. Full reverse. Press the set button. The motor will beat three times. Power off the ESC. The ESC stopped. Power on the ESC. And you have steering, and if you pick up the truck, you should have, you should have, basically this one has the, whoop. the fuck was that? I really don't know what the hell that was. Okay, so I don't know what that was there. A weird little glitch with the steering server, obviously. But basically, you have motor. And you have reverse. Now, the thing with reverse on this speed control, on the bigger speed controls for the bigger RC vehicles, you have to be doing complete stop. It has to see that it's at a stop for a couple seconds, completely stopped, before it'll go in reverse. So just keep that in mind. So when you press reverse and it doesn't instantly go in reverse, that is normal on a bigger speed control. So just keep that in mind. So now you got steering. And uh, my, my spur gear is unplugged at the moment. And I want to show you something. This is the Kush drive. And I put an O-ring behind this little cover here. I put an O-ring on the shaft. So that way there's no slop, because factory, there's a lot of slop in these. So this one is nice and tight. This is a 46 tooth. Let me turn off this ESC for you. All right. So I basically, under this cover, there's a little O-ring. It's a six millimeter inside diameter O-ring. It's a th kind of a thin diameter around. It's not a super fat one. And I put it on the inside of this. You just take off this cover, 
put it on the inside, stick it, and screw it all back together. And this is a 46 tooth steel Kershaw design spur gear. So anyway, and you got the bearing here, and I got the bearing there in the other part. But it goes right here. Basically it goes in the back right here. And uh, this is where your torque biasing center drive is. You can see it in the video, that gear right here. That's your torque biasing center drive. It's underneath this bulkhead. You'll have to remove these screws right here and remove the back section to get access to the torque biasing center drive. Just so you know. And this is your spur gear. It's called the Kush drive. This part right here is called the Kush drive. So, um, thank you for watching the video. Sorry about the little steering freaking out. And then also, I want to show you something. My beautiful grandmother custom made me these shock covers for my RC. I think they look awesome. They give it that added little detail look. I got something else to show you. She made me a couple different kinds. Check these out. These are custom. Look at that. That looks great. And, you know, it's just, wow. And check this out. This is a pretty trick. Chameleon fabric shock cover. It just looks awesome. Changes in the light. I got more of them. Hold up. So I got, these are for my Losi DBXLE silver. I'm going to put those on there. They look pretty nice. And then uh, I also got these too. These are chameleon kind. They look pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I I'm pretty happy with it. And then you also got these beautiful blue ones. Look at how gorgeous that blue is. It has that sparkle, kind of a little bit of chameleon to it. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty neat, I think. So um, just wanted to do a quick video kind of showing you how to calibrate that weird little jerking thing the speed control did. That was the traction stability management. Maybe it had a little bit of a hiccup, and that's why I did that. But it seems to be like I'm going to power it on again one more time just to make sure everything's working right. Now keep in mind, I don't have anything hooked up. And when you do this, when you calibrate the ESC, for safety reasons, remove all four tires. Completely remove them. So that way, if this thing does freak out or you do something, or you know maybe you didn't do it quite right or didn't quite enter it into calibration mode correctly, and it, you, it ends up going full throttle, it won't go full throttle into the wall of your house because you don't want that, trust me. So anyway... Um, I'm going to power this on one more time. The motor is going to do its thing. You got steering. And you got steering. It's, it, this is six volts going to the steering servo. So the steering servo feels really strong. I don't know if it is kind of acting up on me a little bit. Uh, seems to be working okay. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was just a weird hiccup. But anyway, thank you for watching the videos. I greatly appreciate it as always. Um, I'll do my best to get some running videos of with the, with this vehicle, tongue twisted there. Um, as always, Oxo C Freak. Peace.